Hello and welcome back. This is Mon Def, of course, and I've got a solution today for B double O. He was wondering if there was a way to get a recycler to run off of its own power, or uh, said more specifically, to not require power from another source. Basically, it could run itself and produce enough scrap to provide scrap to a matter fabricator. And I believe that is possible. Here is my system. Uh, here we're going to start at the beginning. We'll run through the system and you'll see how uh, this works. It all starts with an igneous extruder, which does require a bucket of lava and a bucket of water to get started. But once it's started, it'll produce cobblestone forever. It's set to output down. Beneath it, we find the recycler, which will, because of the igneous extruder, always stay full of cobblestone and try to recycle it into scrap. Of course, not all of it gets produced into scrap, but sometimes it will produce scrap. That scrap is pumped out from this Antarctic gate which is set so that when the redstone signal is off, it's set to energy pulse. So that'll run across here. And that'll pump that into this chest right here where we find a little bit of scrap. Now, this scrap chest is sitting on top of this auto crafting table. This crafts the scrap into scrap boxes. The reason we're crafting the scrap boxes, if you notice, the this cr can produce 7,000 870 EU, which is a little bit more than 900 EU per uh, piece of scrap. Now if we look at the scrap, it only creates 870. So the scrap box creates a little bit more power per piece of scrap than the scrap would produce by itself. It doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're trying to balance the system out, it does make a difference. See the system just fired, we'll get to that in a second. Um, it does make a difference. So uh, that Auto crafting table sitting back behind here is hooked up with a wooden gate to the bottom of the generator, which of course is how you have to put the scrap boxes in it in order for them to burn. And that's being controlled by this Artarchic gate. This is an iron ore gate, and we'll talk about the first condition and then the second condition here in a moment. The first condition is that if the capacitor of the generator is empty, then energy pulse. So if the generator doesn't have any power left in it, create a scrap box, and because that's the only where for the iron, for the wood pipe to go, that scrap box will go straight into the generator, which is used, of course, to power the recycler. Now, the other condition here says once there's an item in the pipe, that is, after it's created a scrap box and it's already on its way to the generator, then create a red pipe signal. And that red pipe signal travels all the way over here, to this cobblestone structure pipe, which has just a regular iron ore gate on it, which makes this uh, turn off. This is set so that when the red pipe signal is off, which is its natural state, then there's a redstone signal. So when the red pipe signal turns on, the redstone signal will turn off. And when that redstone signal is off, then this timer can run. I've set this timer to pretty ridiculously fast, 0.2 seconds. Um, I've done that because this transposer, which is operated from this timer, is I want it to completely empty this chest. So every cycle it creates one scrap box which gets sent into the generator, burns in the generator, creating the power for the recycler to create scrap. That scrap is sent into the chest, which is where the scrap box gets created from. The rest of the scrap, once the scrap box is in the pipe, there's an item transversing, the, this pipe runs. It runs this transposer extremely quickly, which will empty the chest in no time flat, which will send all the scrap down this pneumatic tubing into this matter fabricator. I've had this running for a while. You can see I've generated 50 scrap um, in about 20 minutes that I've left it uh, alone. It, this does require a little bit of iron, so be it below, you're going to have to find that somewhere. I have no idea where, but uh, you'll have to figure that out. Anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like or a comment. Either way is good with me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.